Many people have asked for a tutorial on how I made Chicken's Playground. Here it is. Note that all materials should be non-toxic and as hamster safe as possible. But you must always supervise your pet when playing with toys to make sure they're safe. For starters, you'll need a large piece of wood. Make sure it's not stained or pressure treated. I used a mixture of food coloring and water for the stain and recommend using gloves. We then cut grooves about half an inch from the edge on all sides of the wood. This is so we can slide the popsicle stick fence into place. I then cut each colored popsicle stick in half and glued the flat edge into the grooves. Now here we're using non-toxic glue and being very careful not to use too much. So it should all be tucked safely away into the grooves. This is the sandbox. I was lucky enough to find a suitable wooden box at the local dollar store and just needed to stain it red with food coloring. If needed, you can build a box out of the same type of wood as the playground base. For the swing, I used some wooden dowels and stained them yellow. The seat is a small flat piece of wood. A groove was made across the top of each dowel, so when standing, they're easily interlocked together. With the two dowels placed together, a hole is drilled through them in order to nail the two pieces together. We then drill holes into the base of the playground, the size of the dowel, and on a slant, so that when we place the swing set into the playground, the ends of the dowel sink and keep it in place. A small dab of non-toxic glue can be used in each hole. Holes are drilled through each corner of the swing's seat. Holes must be large enough for the metal chain to fit through. Slide one end of the chain through a corner and back up through the other side. Hold the end of the chain up to the long end to form a triangle. Count the number of links to make sure it's even. We then used a copper wire to hold the chain together and made sure there were no sharp edges sticking out. For the top of the swing, we used another dowel and drilled two holes in it where the chain would fit through. The distance between the holes must be equal to the width of the swing seat. We then fed the chain through the top dowel and taped it in place temporarily so we could test it out. Once we made sure that the chain was even and the proper height, we secured it. The sandbox is then glued into place and the gap behind it is filled in with the popsicle stick fence. Now time for the slide. We used the largest plumbing tubing we could find and cut it in half lengthwise. For the steps, we used a part of a wooden box as the frame. This is the same box type from the dollar store that we used for the sandbox. Each step is going to be made out of a piece of small dowel. Holes are drilled through the frame on both sides and measured evenly apart. This is so we can slide each dowel through to act as rungs in a ladder. We used a solid square piece of wood as the top platform. We drilled a hole in each side so we could attach it to the frame, again using a small dowel. Hammer the dowel through the hole in the frame and into the platform until they're flush. We then sanded out a groove in the platform so that the slide would fit nicely against it. The wood is then stained with a blue food coloring and water. We then drill another hole in the center front of the platform and use a screw to affix it to the plastic slide. Two screws are then used to affix the frame to the playground base. And a hollowed out piece of wood was used as the base of the slide and glued into place. Finally, you can fill the sandbox with hamster safe dust or sand. And your playground is complete. Thanks to everyone for watching, and a big thanks to my father for helping me build the playground. I couldn't have done it without you. Click to subscribe and check out my channel where you can see the full video of Chicken playing in her tiny playground.